I'm Dan Gukin, author of these word books, and it's Mail Merge Week. The most time-consuming part of a mail merge is creating a recipient list. If you're fortunate, you can use Outlook or choose an existing list, but most of the time, especially when you're starting out, you must build a list from scratch. That's okay. It's just time-consuming. Open your main document. Mine is shown here. See the placeholders I created? These are most helpful when creating the recipient list because now I know what information tidbits I need for each recipient. On the Mailings tab, click Select Recipients type a new list. This is the address list dialog box. It's basically a mini database. Each row is a record. Each column is a field. The new address list comes with suggested fields, some of which may already match fields in your document. Even so, the first thing I do with this list is to purge those fields I don't need. Choose Customize Columns. You can't select a group of fields to delete, and that sucks, so instead you must remove them one at a time. Select a field such as title, which I don't use in my master document, click delete, and click yes to confirm, and this process is going to take a while, so I'm going to remove the remainder of the fields I don't need, and then flip right back to you. Here you see the edited list of fields. Now I renamed some of them to match the placeholders in my master document. So to rename a field, you select it and click Rename, and then type the new field name or just edit what's there. Click OK. Now I need to add two more fields, which are Gift and Something from the master document. So click the Add button, type Gift for the field name, and it can be mixed case. I use all caps in the document so that I can better locate the fields. I don't have to do that here. Click OK, and then I'm going to add the field Something. Now the fields are presented in the order you see here, you can move a field up or down, which changes its column position, but I'm good, so I'm going to just click OK. Now I'm going to resize the dialog box so that I can see all the fields. Now the job here is to build the recipient list, one record at a time. The first entry is created, but it's blank, so you can click on the first field and then fill in its contents, so you type exactly what you want to see in the document for the name, Mary Jones, 123 Main Street, and the rest. Now this creates the first field, and then I can click New Entry and repeat the process for each recipient. I'll do that now. Now that I have all the recipients created, the list isn't saved, so to do that, click OK, type a name for the address list, and now remember, you can use them again, so be really descriptive. Baby shower guests. The recipient list is now married to the main document, so you can click on the Edit Recipient List button to review or modify the list, but at this point, you're ready to insert the fields, which is the topic of tomorrow's video.